Hi guys, this is your host Jess here again with another WordPress plugin for you guys to consume. Now, I have done my submission for this plugin to WordPress and uh, I hope uh, they'll actually get back to me very soon. But you can download this uh, plugin uh, from our website, uh, justreachahal.org. Um, so, the idea, uh, first of all, the name of this plugin is Just Read Jahal's Word Detector. I think I'm actually a little bit uh, too obsessed by my name. Uh, that's why each uh, and everything that I do, I, I, I put my name in there. But that's that's uh, uh, I guess that's okay. Just uh, that's a unique identifier in whatever you do. Um, um, but this plugin actually I designed it and uh, developed it uh, for my own uh, consumption. I have uh, over. Uh, six websites now. Um, with new website, you know that uh, when you do a submission to Google, Bing, and uh, another uh, notable search engines, you always wonder uh, what if um, if your you know website has been crawled or not. Oh, um, you! I have seen um, massive loads on my servers. Um, and I, I was just wondering, like, uh, you know, what's going on? Um, whether they are bought, or, you know, that, that's another uh, sort of, um, uh, you know, massive amount of traffic coming in. But sometimes, because I'm actually doing, uh, you know, Google Analytics, so Google Analytics won't uh, record um, the boat visits and, you know, the crawlers, spiders, um, it won't actually do that. So, I thought, okay, let's let's do something uh, for ourselves, um, for myself, um, um, just to see uh, what time the load actually increases and what's the board activity during that time. So I came up with this um, plugin. Um, so as you can see, that um, um, this is the home uh, setting screen. Really simple. You enter your you know email address. Um, say I'll actually enter mine here. Um, and um, then you set uh, the email interval. So email actually is notification email. So in the light version, you only get these options here. And nothing else. This I'm actually uh, I'm demoing the pro version of this plugin. So um, in notification email is the email address where an email will be sent based on the email interval that you actually set every four hours. So the boat activity in those last four hours. So this is like four hours interval. Uh, you, you're getting reports on which crawler, spider, boats actually visited your website and so forth. Now, um, you can actually keep history of your boat activities for as many number of days as you like. What I recommend, um, because this is only you know, um, 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 like uh, day to day thing, I, I would actually say uh, you know maybe maximum keep it for like 30 days, because the uh, database table, depending on the traffic on your website, uh, it it will actually fill really quick. So the lesser the number, maybe seven. So that means like uh, active records of um, somewhere uh, between uh, like um, um, it depends like on, on your web uh, website traffic, but I would actually recommend maximum to be 30. But it depends on you how much you want to you know store in your database, and then you have the option of choosing the email format, um, um, whether it's uh, HTML or text. Um, now, um, once you're actually done with these settings, you just uh, click on Save Settings, and then it will just uh, uh, save it. Um, once the notification actually, so this is actually on my live uh, website, uh, thisfeaturehull.org, that I'm actually demoing you this. Um, and um, there are like heaps of boats uh, that uh, comes um, by default in the Pro version. Um, you can actually manage those uh, through when you actually go to manage boats. So 
I've actually created a list of over 50 boards that you, uh, that you can actually keep track on. So as you can see that uh, these are the number of boards that I came up with that includes Google, Google AdSense, Baidu, um, Bing, Alexa, AltaVista and uh, many others. W3C, you know, many others. Uh, you would actually know what's happening for sure. Um, and then um, you, you see these options here. You can actually delete um, delete a boat. That uh, I wouldn't actually recommend um, uh, if uh, to do with the system defaults, like plugin defaults that actually come with. But what you can do is, if you don't want um, Google AdSense board to be monitored, you just uh, go, okay, I just want to deactivate that. And uh, it will deactivate this, and then uh, the plugin will no longer uh, will monitor um, uh, ad board uh, uh, activity. So as you can see, that uh, it has been disabled now. Um, and then you can actually add your board um, like if you have uh, some in information uh, on any other board or you know even your browser um, if, if you know you know check the wizard for your browser you can actually do that so you can actually just say say Mozilla uh, and identify as a unique identifier that's and that that's that explain like um, uh, what board it is so for Google, say for instance, uh, Google use Google Boat as a unique boat identifier, or um, Mozilla or any other like Microsoft uh, Internet Explorer, you can actually use say Microsoft Internet Explorer and then go Internet Explorer. And then type is, so you can actually choose you know, uh, some of these um, um, defaults but um, uh, let me know like um, we can actually add more if you want to have more of these options in here if you don't know the URL or IP and just don't uh, bother about that and then of course I mean uh, you don't really have to activate it straight away you can actually just say no and then click add board and uh, there you go and uh, it will actually start um, uh, monitoring Microsoft Internet Explorer activity on your uh, website and then we have a uh, really unique cool uh, report section um, which defines like what um, you know um, like I have just activated it just um, say f um, maybe 15 minutes ago so we have 46 boats came in uh, in those um, uh, 15 minutes and then you can see that which uh, boat is really active. You can see, uh, I can actually see here that Google, Bing, and Baidu are the more uh, active boats uh, in the last 15 minutes that I have. Um, and then I have this uh, huge data in here where, where, where I can actually see like which pages really has been called, right? And uh, I mean, you can actually do um, this is just a monitor, um, and then you can actually have like a live view. Uh, this is really cool. Um, what this does is uh, it tells you that if any uh, boat is uh, currently active uh, on your uh, website. Uh, so, as you can see, that Baidu is actually crawling, uh, now Google actually is crawling. Um, my uh, one of my pages and then it actually refreshes every four or five seconds and then check like if any pages actually are being crawled um, this is really cool I mean um, uh, it actually tells you when it, the crawl actually started and uh, what board type it is um, and then uh, you can actually always uh, you know um, and then if there is no activity of any board it will actually come with no board on your website at the moment uh, this helps you to identify if there is, uh, you know, if there is sudden, um, um, like, a, you know, load increase on your website. You can actually check, like, how many of uh, requests are being generated by, you know, boats and crawlers and spiders. And it doesn't actually limit you to, you know, a, a plugin defaults. So you can add uh, your own boat, um, like the boats that you have missed, uh, that I've missed. Um, 
but most common um, I've added it. So I hope uh, this plugin will help you um, um, in identifying and monitoring board activity um, on your uh, website. Um, um, so I hope you will actually end up using it. This is another, uh, the light version actually doesn't have a live view or history report where you can't actually add or edit boards, you can't manage boards. Uh, what, what it does instead is um, you can um, uh, you have the feature where it actually sends uh, you the um, um, like a email every you know number of hours you actually set up um, the way you actually set, uh, set you into. So even that's handy for the light version, but I, I, I've actually in, did a pro version. It's really cheap anyway, so. Um, so I hope uh, you will actually buy that and uh, support me for uh, future plugins and you know existing uh, free plugins uh, development um, and updates and that sort of stuff. I uh, hope uh, you will uh, find this uh, plugin useful. I'll I have um, ten more ideas that I'm actually working uh, that are in the queue. I will be working on. So hopefully I'll give you some really cool tools uh, related to WordPress in uh, coming uh, months and weeks. Till then, uh, goodbye from Jess. Uh, um, I'll come back with some cheers from Melbourne. Bye.